Another key feature that 11AX brings for battery-operated clients and mobile devices is improving on the existing 11AC power saving mode. The new 11AX feature is called Target Wake Time, or TWT for short. The way 82.11 power save works today is like an entire house having one large alarm clock. Even if only one person needs to be woken up when the alarm clock goes off, it wakes up everyone. The people who didn't have to wake up go back to sleep and just the one person gets up to go to work. In the pre-11AX Wi-Fi world, this is what 802.11 power save does with its beacons. Everyone must listen to the beacons and see if this beacon is for them. This is our one house alarm clock. It means that mobile battery operated clients, especially small IoT devices, are wasting precious battery power by being woken up frequently. 11AX is giving one alarm clock to each client. It is a programmable function depending on your traffic pattern. Target wake time enables devices to determine when and how frequently they will wake up to send or receive data. Essentially, this allows 11AX APs to effectively increase device sleep time and significantly conserve battery life, a feature that is particularly important for the IoT. In addition to saving power on the client device side, Target wake time enables wireless access points and devices to negotiate and define specific times to access the medium. This helps optimize spectral efficiency by reducing contention and overlap between users. The target wake time mechanism first appeared in 11AH in 2017. The low power standard is specifically designed to support the large scale deployment of the IoT infrastructure, such as stations and sensors that intelligently coordinate signal sharing. The TWT feature further evolved with the 11AX standard as stations and sensors are now only required to wake and communicate with a specific beacon or beacons transmitting instructions for the TWT broadcast sessions they belong to. This allows the wireless 11AX standard to optimize power saving for many devices with more reliable, deterministic, and LTE-like performance. Another feature of 11AX is that it supports 20 MHz only clients. 11AC required 80 MHz capable clients. 11AX supports 20 MHz only clients because the 11AX draft amendment was written with IoT devices in mind as the devices are low cost, use little power, and have very small batteries. Using management frames, client stations will be able to inform an 11AX AP that they are operating as a 20 MHz only client. A 20 MHz only device can transmit and receive in either the 2.4 or 5 GHz band. Examples of IoT devices are BLE and Zigbee sensors, medical devices, thermostats, and so forth. They do not require high bandwidth operations. 11AX has a protocol where the 20 MHz only devices only communicate on the primary 20 MHz channel. I'm showing a 40 MHz channel, but it could be extended to 80 or 160 MHz. All 20 MHz packet exchanges of these clients are in the primary 20 MHz. You can have a packet exchange of normal clients in the upper secondary, and then you can further mix and match having some normal clients in your primary, as well as 20 MHz only clients, so it's very flexible. The key is that these 20 MHz only devices only have to operate in the primary 20 MHz band.